Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to explain the poem Past and Present composed by the English poet, author and humorist who was best known for poems like The Bridge of Sighs and The Song of the Shirt. This poet is Thomas Hood. I remember, I remember the house where I was born. So the poet says that he still remembers the house where he was born. The little window where the sun came peeping in at morn. And there was a window, a small window in his house. And the sun was visible through that window. The sun peeped into the house in the morning hours through that small window. He never came a wink too soon. The sun never, never visited a little too early. He always came at the perfect time, at the right time and also at the same time, nor brought too long a day. And the sun did not bring a day which was excessively long. It was just a, an average day. But now I often wish the night had borne my breath away. But now as I think of the past, I often wish that the night had carried my breath away. I remember, I remember the roses red and white, the violets and the lily cups, those flowers made of light. So he also says that those flowers which appeared, which bloomed only due to the effect of sunlight, I remember all those flowers because they are associated with my, uh, with my past, with my house, the place where I lived. I remember the roses, the red and white colored roses, the violet flowers and the lily cups. I remember all those flowers because they bloomed only with a good amount of sunlight. The lilacs where the robin built and where my brother set, the laburnum on his birthday, the tree is living yet. And I also remember the time, I also remember the lilac flowers and the robin bird had built its nest there where my, and where my brother sat. And there is also a particular place in, in my house, in the yard, where my brother had grown the laburnum tree. He had sown the seeds of, seeds of the laburnum tree. And the tree is living yet and even today the tree is still alive, the tree is still living. I remember, I remember where I used to swing and thought the air must rush as fresh to swallows on the wing. My spirit flew in feathers then that is so heavy now and summer pools could hardly cool the fever on my brow. So. He says that I still remember the place where I used to swing and thought the air must rush as fresh to swallows on the wing. And from my swing, I used to watch the swallows flying in the sky. And I thought that just as I was enjoying the fresh air outside, even the swallows were enjoying that fresh air and because of which they were, swim, uh, they were uh, flying very high up in the sky. My spirit flew in feathers then and my spirit was light just like feathers that is so heavy now but today today in my advanced age my spirit is heavy my heart is heavy because I am a matured person who has seen a lot of ups and downs in my life and summer pools could hardly cool the fever on my brow and at that time I used to enjoy the summer pools they were so they were cool enough but today there is a fever on my brow because i think of the past and i feel sad that i can no longer enjoy the same situation the same conditions the same circumstances that i had enjoyed in the past i remember i remember the fir trees dark and high i remember the fir trees growing outside in the yard they looked dark they looked and they also looked tall i used to think their slender tops were close against the sky and these uh, tall trees which had which were slender shaped i felt 
that their tops were touching the sky because the fir trees were very very tall it was a childish ignorance but now it is little boy to know but now it is little joy to know i am further off from heaven than when i was a boy at that time i was ignorant of the truth behind the fir trees which were tall i thought i genuinely thought that the fir trees could touch the heaven because they of their height but now i realized the truth that those fir trees were tall but they could not touch the heaven and nor an, am i in a position to reach the heaven nor am i uh, in a position to enjoy a seat in heaven when i am no longer alive because my life is full of um, uh, things that i have done uh, which uh, i as a, as a person i have done a lot of sinful acts and i do not deserve a place in heaven and now when i think about it i do not feel happy i feel uh, sad that my life has been partly wasted so it was a childish ignorance but now it is little joy to know i am further off from heaven than when i was a boy as a boy i was closer to god because i was innocent but today i am matured and i have done a lot of quite a bit of mistakes i have committed a lot of errors i have not lived a perfect life and because of which as an adult i do not enjoy any close closeness with heaven and i have no hope of securing a seat in heaven when i am no longer alive with these words i come to the end of the poem thank you for watching